Good morning. I'm Keitha Nelson here with First Coast News. Just want to sit down and chit chat with you guys a little bit about a trailer I just saw for the new Lifetime movie coming out about Kamaya Mobley. It's um, it's about her story. Uh, the title of the movie is Stolen by My Mother, the Kamaya Mobley story. And I remember when I sat down with Kamaya and her father uh, about two years ago, I thought to myself, this all sounds like a movie. It was just such a bizarre, bizarre story. Um, for those of you who don't know, back in 1998, Kamaya Mobley was stolen from a Jacksonville hospital at just eight hours old, stolen by uh, Gloria Williams, who was now serving 18 years in prison for kidnapping baby Kamaya. Kamaya was raised in Walterboro, South Carolina by Gloria Williams under the name Alexis Manigo. Um, this baby girl was stolen from a 16-year-old, our 16-year-old mother, Shannara Mobley, 16 at the time. Shannara to this day is still, you could tell, in pain over all of this. Her relationship with her daughter is strained. Now, when I sat down with uh, Kamai Mobley and Craig Aiken for an interview in 2018, this was a year after they were reunited, um, she told me that, Kamai told me she was working on the relationship with her mother, trying to repair it, but it was still, it was difficult because Shannara feels as if she was betrayed by um, Kamaya because she still kept in contact with Gloria Williams who raised her as her mom but when you sit down and think about this it, it, it makes sense I mean this this young lady who is about 21 not by now she she was raised by Gloria Williams like that's all she knew that's the love that she received for her entire life so that's who she associates as mom and though Shannara is her biological mother she kind of doesn't really know her but again it's a relationship they're working on and I'll say time and time again, I'm praying for the best for that, that young lady and her, her biological mother. Um, again, Gloria right now is sitting in prison, as most of you say she should be, uh, serving 18 years for the 18 years of life that she stole from Shannara Mobley. That relationship, again, will it ever be repaired? We just, we just don't know. Um, reading a lot of your comments online uh, under the article that I posted, and um, you're outraged. You're outraged just like everyone everyone has been for all these years you know I could tell you I remember so this happened back in 1998 but in uh, 2017 that's when news broke that Kamaya Mobley was found again in Walterboro South Carolina and this newsroom erupted I mean those who were here during that time they remember how huge of a deal this was here in Jacksonville Florida a, a baby being stolen from a hospital how is that even possible and that kind of set in motion chain reaction i mean there are so many um rules and regulations in place now because of what happened to kamai mobley her being kidnapped from um the, the hospital here in jacksonville but you know when i covered this story back then i understood the nature of Gloria Williams' action. I, I knew it was just, it was gross, it was awful, but as a mother now, a new mom, my twins are six months old, I could not imagine having a child grow inside of me for all those months, bonding with that child, and then having someone steal your baby? When I tell you I was with Shannara before, I am with her 110%. Now I don't mind giving my opinion about that, not one bit. What Gloria did was downright disgusting. Stealing someone's child. Though Shannara was just 16 years old, she is still a mother. A mother who loved her child. Because I could tell you, due to interviews that I've done, she was young, but she was looking forward to raising her baby girl. I mean, Shannara had a really rough upbringing in here in Jacksonville, but she was willing to do what she had to do, like so many of us do, to make ends meet, to raise her child. She was excited about that baby. Craig even told me he remembers how excited Shannara was to have their baby girl, who was ultimately taken from them. Now, I want to go into one of the comments that I saw from um, one of you online. This is from Deb Deborah Blackman. She says, I have so many mixed feelings about this case. While what the kidnapper did was a crime, the child was raised in a loving family. 
That's true. And that's another side of this that many of you have been saying for, for many years is that though Gloria Williams uh, kidnapped Kamaya, stole someone's child, at least she raised her in a loving home. And we're saying this just based on testimony. We don't know we weren't raised with her. We weren't inside of her home. We're just saying this based on what we're being told. Photos that we've seen, videos that we've seen of the two together. I don't think that we can question whether or not Kamaya loved Gloria because clearly she did. She's in touch with her to this day. She loved this woman that she knew as mom. That too adds to the pain for, for Shannara. Um, Helena Pugh writes, the reality was so disappointed on so many levels. The parents were failed years ago by a clearly broken system that focused on them and the mother's age more than it did on a baby who had been stolen virtually from her mother's arms. Another side of the argument there, um, Shannara found out she was pregnant at 15 years old. She had the baby at 16. Yes, she was young, but there are a lot of young teenage moms out there who are making it work. <laughs> it's a reality, it's a child that you love, you're gonna do what you have to do. So back to this um, movie that's coming out again on Lifetime, I was looking through the, um, the actual trailer, looking at it, and I just got chills, I said, wow. And then they used the term ripped from the headlines, it certainly was, because this was such a huge deal for us um, here in Jacksonville, it still is. We were so grateful to know that after all of those years, 18 years, this baby girl was not just alive, but she was well, treated well from what we've seen, because we all know this could have had a much um, different ending. I, could, I want to go back a little bit to some of the things that I remember from our interview. I remember talking to Kamaya about her, her three mothers because it, it was so confusing to me to know that she is spreading herself so thin. So she has uh, Shannara, who is her biological mom. She calls her mom, she told me. Um, there is her stepmother, Craig Aiken's uh, wife. She calls her mom as well. And then we have uh, her kidnapper, Gloria. Who she calls mom so I said do, do they answer to the same thing she's like yeah she just calls everyone mom and everyone answers to it so a very odd situation another thing that I, I, I thought was interesting was her her name I wanted to be respectful asked you know what do you want me to call you are you Kamaya are you Alexis what are you comfortable with and she was so nonchalant mm, doesn't matter um, in South Carolina I go by Alexis in Jacksonville, I go com by Kamaya. Because she said she answers pretty much to both. When she's at home and she considers South Carolina home, people call her Alexis and that's what she answers to. Here in Jacksonville, we all know her as Kamaya, which is what I, I refer to her um, as as well. Now back to the strained relationship between her and Shannara, I, I was so curious about that because I remember that she had such a good relationship it appeared with her father and I said well why are they so bonded and it was came clear it became clear to me that Craig was pretty much accepting of Kamaya loving her kidnapper right did he like it no but this is his child and he wants a relationship with her so he's willing to you know turn a blind eye to that Shannara not so much. She's like, I'm your mom. You need to respect me. You need to not have contact with your kidnapper. But again, this is a young lady torn. I remember in the courtroom, she actually um, sat in the, the back of the courtroom. Um, she did not want to choose sides, right? She didn't want to sit with the Aikens or with the uh, Mobleys, you know, Glorious Family, South Carolina. She just wanted to make everyone happy. And that kind of breaks your heart because you think about this young lady who is just torn torn in in different directions in different places what, what does she do um, again these comments I'm trying to get through as many as I can um, I was wondering who uh, oh yeah who am I to sit in in judgment of this woman no one knows what was going on through her mind at the time granted what she did was awful and a crime yet yeah, was awful and was a crime so I 
don't know what was going through her mind. I could only go off of what she said, again, on the stand. She says that she recently had a miscarriage. She was in a tumultuous relationship, uh, decided to hit the road from South Carolina on July 9th, late at night, and she drove, drove, drove her way into Jacksonville randomly. Got off the interstate, ended up at this hospital on July 10th in 1998. Went into the hospital room, befriended Shannara, Shannara who thought she was a nurse, and stole her child. So yeah, you might not want to pass judgment, but we kind of have an idea where her mind was. Gloria at the time, she was not well. I mean, you, you couldn't be well to steal someone's child. Um, someone's agreeing with Helena. If you see something, say something. So Helena's point pretty much was that so many people could have perhaps stepped in and helped Shannara one, uh, Gloria two, Kamaya as well. And you know, that's just an argument that you'll hear again and again and again. If, if you see something, say something. If you see someone's having an issue and you can possibly help them, go ahead and do so. But so many times we feel as if that's none of our business, let's not get involved. It's the wrong attitude to have, but sadly that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, again, I, like so many of you, I'm curious to see this movie, how it goes. I know Nishi Nash is playing Glory Williams. She's such a strong actress. They have a lot of strong actresses in, in this um, movie, including the young lady who's playing Kamaya as well. So it should be pretty, pretty interesting to see. And then there is a documentary ABC is putting together in conjunction with um, this Lifetime movie. Uh, I, as I said, I was interviewed for the documentary, so I'll, I'll be there as well talking a little bit about this, this case. And continue to chime in let's talk about it i want to hear from you as well what are you thinking about all of this the movie to come um the case itself oh Kamai, by the way i know a lot of you are, are curious about her so she is still currently in in south carolina uh she's working there but she just as she told me before when i spoke to her in 2017 i was told she still is on the same path she does want to come back to jacksonville go to school here and eventually get into social work that's what she wants to do with her life you know she's young will that change who knows but you know just wishing her obviously the very very best all right talk to you guys soon